Sarah, this is Amanda Wilkinson. It is Monday, July the 12th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you visit me a lot, thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I just watched Coraline. I watch a lot of horror movies, but I gotta say, the other mother freaked me out. If you're watching me on Facebook or Instagram, if you could check out my YouTube channel and like, share, and subscribe, that would be great. If you would like a personal reading, please message me. How is everybody tonight? I hope you're well, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. You have that star inside of you. A beautiful, beautiful star. Let's cut the deck. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Spirit. First card out. The Four of Wands. Ooh, the 11-11 card. This is talking about um, getting ready for the big day. Maybe you're getting married. You're going to have a hand fasting. Um, it could be a rehearsal. Um, your relationship could be moving to a higher level of commitment. I like it. What is crossing this? The Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Ah. Uh, Looks like somebody's having trouble making a decision. Oh, wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pentacles are earth energy, pentacles are money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's some decisions that meet, need to be made. Alrighty. What is consciously known about this situation? The Empress. The Empress, beautiful, beautiful energy. Haven't seen the Empress for a while. The Empress is Divine Feminine. She knows her worth. She doesn't get out of her throne for just anyone. In, in a lot of other decks, she's in a throne. Um, she's always birthing new ideas. So if you're pregnant, congratulations. If you don't want to get pregnant, please take the proper precautions. Um, the Empress is Taurus and Libra Energy. So the temperance, uh, the empress is a very positive, positive female card. What is unconsciously known? The knight of cups. Ooh, the knight of love. Somebody has some romantic feelings for you. Um, this person is loving, caring, compassionate. He is the king of love. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I like it. Oh, the horse is trotting slowly. Um, this is not really an in and out um, energy, but this could be a non-committal lover. Doesn't have to be. Just there's a little bit of that energy there. I want to warn you about recent past. The page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. You're going to be getting a message about money. Pages are messengers, and the page of pentacles, page of money. You will get a message about money. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Near future. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. I like the Queen of Swords, you know. Um, the Queen of Swords is the Ice Queen or Ice Queen, Ice King, excuse me. Um, the Queen of Swords knows her worth. Um, Queen of Swords is all about truth, clarity, and honest communication, which are swords, truth, honest communication. Um, so yeah, if you do not bring the Queen of Swords truth and clarity and honest communication, she's using her sword to cut you off. So, you need to be worthy of the Queen of Swords. 
Where do you find yourself? The Queen of Pentacles. Two queens, a knight, and a page. Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles are money, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so this is, she is the queen of money. Um, she knows how to take her. She's a confident, stable business person, male or female. Um, she knows how to, she makes her own money. She knows how to take care of her money. Uh, she is the queen of money. Um, as, as with all the earth energy, you could see branches above her. She is a strong, independent person. External influences, the Two of Swords, more indecisiveness. What's going on, collective? Two of Pentacles, being wishy-washy, indecisive, Two of Swords. Same thing, unable to make a decision. Uh, swords are air energy, truth, honest communication, clarity. Um, so she's blindfolded. These birds are ravens or crows are pulling at her hair. As with the queen of swords, you have to make a decision one way or the other. Hopes and or fears. The knight of pentacles. Knight of pentacles, the knight of money. The Knight of Pentacles is a very, very slow-moving offer, but it, but it is a solid offer. Pentacles are money, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles is slow-moving, but he will bring you a solid offer. Because remember I told you that the Knight of Cups could be... Non-committal, Knight of Pentacles will commit. Hopes and or fears, the star. Oh, look at your beautiful star, each and every one of you watching. I love the star. Aquarius energy, see the star from her heart is reflected in the star above. Wish card. Happiness, joy, you know your worth again. Oh, King of Swords. We got a power couple here. King and Queen of Swords. These two people need truth, clarity, honest communication, or they will cut you off with the with their sword. Strong Ice Queen, Ice King, Ice King, Ice Queen. But a power couple. These are. On all, this is an honest couple. Power couple. Five of Pentacles. Either you or someone else is leaving you out in the cold. Um. So I get if you're not bringing the Queen and King, um, solid honest communication. They're cutting you off, leaving you on the cold. The Emperor, another power couple. Another power couple. We've got the Emperor and the Empress. The Emperor is more of a divine masculine. Um, the Emperor can be stubborn, uh, kind of can be my way or the highway, but still a strong male. A strong, strong divine, us, a strong divine masculine. I like the the emperor. Uh, I like the king of swords better than the emperor, but the emperor makes a good pair with the empress. And then we've got the queen of love. We have got way too many people in this read. Way too many people. She is the queen of love. Um, she is loving, caring, compassionate. She is the queen of love. So we've got the queen of money, the queen of swords, the queen of love, the empress, and we have one king, 
King of Swords, Knight of Love, Knight of Love, and Knight of Money. I don't know. You need to look around. Um, you need to you need to look around. Um, just 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 a warning. There's way too many people in this uh, scenario. Way too many people. So just yeah, be be warned. Maybe there's more people involved in this situation than you think there is. Then we have the magician. The magician. He can the magician he or she can be manifesting love, money, truth. Love, money, truth. Or passion so you will know what you're manifesting trust your mat trust what you're manifesting Adjustments are required. The third quarter moon. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. And balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. All right, so you need to power up, know your worth. You are amazing. And you all have that star inside of you. This is a beautiful outcome. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, just... As the moonology kind of is giving you a warning too. Adjustments are required. It's a time for healing and balance, spirituality, and practical and practicality. But trust yourself. Trust yourself with the star. This is the wish card. All right. I like it for you. I do. Um, so. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. This is Amanda Wilkinson signing off. Bye.